their union four months ago, Christine and Robert Rush. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubanks! Thank you! Thank you very much. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the newlywed game. Hey, couples, welcome. You ready to play our game? Yeah! yeah. But what do we want right now? The ladies, if you would, please go off to our soundproof area. Would you do that for me? And gentlemen, in round one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. If her answer matches your prediction, you'll get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to that incredible second honeymoon. So the ladies are gone. Here's your first question now for five points. Right off the top, I want you to take a look at our monitor over here, if you would, please. Take a look at that monitor. Now, gentlemen, which of today's wives, including your own, do you think is the toughest and meanest? What do you think is the toughest and the meanest? Okay, have you seen them all? Today's wives, which, including your own, do you think is the toughest and the meanest? All right, let's start with you, Robert. Which one? Would it be wife number one, number two, number three, or number four? I would have to say it's mine, Bob. Your wife is the yep. meanest. Yep. And number the four. toughest. She's the meanest, the toughest. Is that I'll right? I'll tell you that. Can she whip your butt? Oh, man, look how big I am. She yeah. She pick me up and body slam me all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Phil. That's definitely my wife. Your wife definitely. is the meanest and toughest. Oh, yes. All right, so you think number three. Okay. Oh, yes, definitely. Mondo. I would say uh, I would have to go with my wife. Yeah, you started you start <laughs> well, to go with Robert's tough. wife there, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to, I was, because I, I talked to Robert's wife, so. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I would think it was All my right. wife. Well, we got more earrings on this panel than the Julie at Walmart. <laughs> Jeff. You know, I think I'm going to have to go with Robert's wife. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, wife number four, wife you think? Wife number four, yeah. Meanest and the toughest, all right? Next question, gentlemen, what will your wife say is the most man-sized thing about her? <laughs> Phil, the most man-sized thing about her. Definitely her stomach. It's She's her got stomach. a man's beer, beer gut. She's got a big old She's beer got belly. man's beer gut right. going. <laughs> Mondo. <sighs> She's, I'm going to say her rear end. Her She's going to kill me for this. But I know she's always complaining about it, and I it's know man she, size, it's huh? man size. It's man size. Jeff, I'm gonna have to say her chest. Her, well, congratulations. <laughs> All right. Her chest. Uh, I would have to say her stomach as well. Uh, her stomach as well as what? Uh, that's a man size. Just oh, see, that's man size. Not as big as mine now. No, but it's, it's big. No, I understand. <laughs> okay, next question, gentlemen. If you and your wife had free run of the White House, where will she say you'd mo most like to make love? Would that be in the Lincoln bedroom? just outside the Oval Office, or the Rose Garden? What do you think, Mondo? I'd say the Rose Garden. In the she Rose loves, Garden. She loves to, she likes it when it's romantic. When it's romantic. It. Are you a romantic guy? I try to be. Good I for you, okay. Why? <laughs> Jeff? Definitely the Rose Garden. Rose Garden. Yeah, she okay, really sure. Romance. Robert? It had to be the bedroom. bedroom. The Lincoln bedroom. Yep. She never likes to do nothing else except for the bedroom. <laughs> Always. Oh, she's not very experimental then? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna teach her, aren't you? Oh, I'm gonna try my best. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Phil? Definitely the bedroom. Lincoln's bedroom. In the Lincoln bedroom. All right, Jeez. gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll be right back to reunite these wives. We'll see how well our husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages.
What are they talking about? Liza Minnelli for hot dogs. They're talking about Talk About. Prince Charles is right. Yeah. Weekdays at 8.30, right here on Buzzer. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, gentlemen, we've recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show will win a great second honeymoon. <laughs> You're probably wondering where the wives are, aren't you? Well, remember, remember the first question I asked a while ago? I asked the guys, the husbands, to pick the meanest and the toughest wife. Well, before we see their answers, we're going to determine who is the meanest and the toughest by having a little sumo wrestling match. Ladies, would you please come out here? Would the ladies please come out here? Ladies? Right over there, if you would, please. There they are. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, what I thought we would do is, is we'll start with wife number, let's see, one and four. Who's wife one? Right, okay, wife one and wife four, come down here with me. Yeah, come down here, get out there. Get out there. You can do it, can't you? If you fall down, you'll just rock yourself to sleep, that's all. Oh, there you go. That's it. Oh, we got our referees, okay. Now, you know how the sumo wrestlers wrestle, don't you, ladies? The whole idea is you've got to knock the other lady out of the, of the circle. Our referees are here to make sure there's no foul language. And uh, I, I will only tell you, wife number four, you have quite a reputation. And so going into this, and so we'll have a little uh, sumo wrestling match. And if you're ready, on your mark, get set, and go! All right. <laughs> Wife number four, you're the winner. You come over here. Okay, now your wife, you, you go right up there. Yes, would you somebody boost her up there? Let's get the other two ladies up here now. That's it. <laughs> Let's have the other two ladies. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Uh, oh my. Uh, hi, babe, how are you? <laughs> Little too much sushi for you guys, I can tell you that. All right, on your mark, get set, and go! Here we go. Oh! We have no winners. Stand them up. Wait a minute. And go! Okay! Yeah, this lady's the winner. Okay, now. Come back in here. Stay over there. You gotta have to now. Let me tell you. I got our two winners here now. Let me let me tell you. Wh whoever wins this match, whoever wins this match is gonna win a beautiful color television. All right. So ladies, good luck to you. What are those things in front of you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark, get set, and go! Oh! <laughs> Who wins? There's our winner right there! All right. Thank you, ladies, and back to your seats and sit next to your husbands if you would. Okay, let, let's continue with the show now. Let's continue with the show. Keep those cards flat on your laps. And by the way, we want to thank all of our friends at LA Party Works for the, for the suits. They, these are wonderful. And, uh, okay, so, so let me find out right now. Let me find out right now who, uh, who the winner is. First of all, uh, uh, husband number one, you said that, yeah. You said that wife number four would win. Yeah. Uh, Robert, tell your wife she got one vote. <laughs> okay, but the wife number four didn't win, wife number three won. Yeah. All right. Mondo, which wife did you say was going to win? You said wife number two, but wife number three won. Sorry, no points there. Okay, Phil, who'd you say? Phil said wife number three! Yeah! Yeah. And Robert, so much for the enforcer, huh? Yeah. Okay. 
Sit down. <laughs> and don't stand up till I ask you to. <laughs> Next question, ladies, can you hear me? <laughs> ladies, what would you say is the most man-sized thing about you? My legs. Your legs, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, he said the most, he said your rear end is. Yes. <laughs> You're always, you always complain about how big your butt hey, is. Vito, you what's have no butt. the most man-sized thing about you? I'd say my stomach, because I have a beer belly like a man. All right, he said it would be your beer gut. That's right, yeah. <laughs> is she all right over there? Christine. <laughs> most most man-sized thing about you, Christine. My walk, because it always sings to me that song. Robert said, uh, no, it's your stomach, Christine. Man size. Uh, Candace, most man size thing about you, Candace. I would say it's definitely uh, my rear end. Your Obviously, rear end? You know, I need some work here. So. Okay, well, yeah, you certainly do, huh? Yeah, your diaper is dragging, in fact. No, he said your chest is man size. Babe, you're. Oh, oh my God. Huge. <laughs> ladies, ladies, if you and your husband had free run of the White House, where would you most like to make love? The Rose Garden, the Lincoln Bedroom, or just outside the Oval Office? Yvette? Just outside the off Oval Office, Bob. Everybody should be in. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Outside the Oval Office. Bob. Bob. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Phil said you'd like to make love in the Lincoln Bedroom. Wow. Oh. Bummer. <laughs> Christine, Rose Garden, Lincoln Bedroom, or just outside the Oval Office? Prop her up, Robert. Like, I'm trying. <laughs> um, the Lincoln Bedroom. Lincoln Bedroom. He said, uh, Lincoln oh! Bedroom. Yeah. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Candace, where would it be? Uh, I would say definitely the Rose Garden. He but... predicted you would say the yeah. Rose Garden. Yeah. yeah. And Kimberly. Um, I would say. Probably the Rose Garden. Rose Garden? Yeah. And Mondo said it would be the Rose Garden. Okay. Yay. We'll be back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages. The votes are in. One and done is the winner. You're watching Viewer's Choice Day on Buzzer.
Hey, you're watching the Newlywed Game with me, Bob Eubanks. Stay tuned. Back to the newlywed game. You ladies were just wonderful. I just want you to meet Leslie Aquaviva. Leslie is the contestant coordinator. She picks oh, all no, of these wonderful. Contestant wonder producer. Excuse contestant me. producer, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, she's responsible for picking all these wonderful contestants, and the ladies were hilarious. Yay! Thank you, Leslie. Thank you. And by the way, congratulations to Yvette. Yvette, you won that color television set. Not bad at all. All right, now here we go, ladies. Your husbands are now secluded off stage. It's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these questions are all worth 10 points. And the first one's a rather serious question, so be honest now, because honesty means points. Before the show, what subject will your husband say the two of you decided you absolutely, positively would not talk about? But for 10 points, you're going to tell me. What subject would that be, Yvette? It's his sex. He's always complaining. His what? Sex. Oh, you, you, you said you wouldn't talk about sex. Yeah. He's complaining? He complains. He says I don't give him enough. Oh. I think I do. Well. I do, though. He's you, wrong. You do what? I do things. Oh, you do? Oh, okay. <laughs> Kimberly? The one thing that he did, okay. The one thing that he did would be just not to talk about any embarrassing habits that he has, like sitting around in his underwear or something. Okay, so uh, sitting, sitting around his around underwear, in then. His I underwear. need the one thing. Sitting around in his underwear. Okay, Candace, the one thing. I would say him and his office. What about his office? Well, the bathroom is his office. <laughs> oh, oh. We're not going to talk about the fact that he sits in the office And a he lot. makes all his phone calls there. <laughs> right, OK. Christine? I would say his weight. We wouldn't talk about his weight. No. We don't have to. We can see it. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Next question, ladies. Who will your husband say is funnier during lovemaking, you or him? Kimberly, who's funnier? He is. He's funny. Yeah. <laughs> How come? <laughs> because he's always like, he'll, he'll, he'll try to make me laugh or he does something and it's a little uncomfortable or, or I'll be like, ow, stop that. And he just like starts laughing. Oh, oh okay. Are Candace? you okay? <laughs> I would say me. You're funnier. Are you really? Yeah. He's always teasing me. You don't laugh at him and point, do you? <laughs> no. no. Christine. I'd say me. You're funnier. Yeah because of the faces I make. <laughs> okay. Yvette? I think I am. You're funnier. He's always trying to get loud, and we live in an apartment building, so I'm always shushing him and covering his mouth. Oh, okay. Shut up, shut up! Shame, shame. Keep moving, 20, shut up. 25-point bonus question, ladies. What will your husband say is your birthstone? Your birthstone. Christine? Sapphire. Sapphire. Yvette? Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Kimberly? Peridot. Para who? Peridot. Peridot. Candace? <laughs> Aquamarine. Aquamarine. Thank you, ladies. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the new <laughs> game right after these messages.
the Buzzer Academy of Hosting presents Tossing to Commercial. We'll be back. We'll be back first. This. Keep it right here on Buzzer. Everybody. We have had such a good time with these couples today. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions are not worth 10 points, and here's our first one. Now, gentlemen, be serious, and remember, points you know, will bring you that much closer to this great second honeymoon. So here's the question. Before the show, what subject would you say the two of you decided you absolutely, positively would not talk about? But for 10 points, your wife told everything. <laughs> what would that be, Mondo? I would say, <clears throat> I think sh it would probably me. I would probably say about my gas problem. Oh my I have a gas problem. You have a I, gas problem. And she likes to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just okay. Yes. All right. Kimberly said no. no it's about you sitting around in your underwear all the time. <laughs> yeah. He always do. He comes out of the bathroom. He sits in his underwear. And I'm like, can you get up? Get dressed. Uh huh. Uh huh. I just like to be comfortable. <laughs> now, uh, Phil, one thing you said you would not talk about, but she did. Uh, that would have to be her fighting history. She got what? in a lot of trouble when she was in high school, fighting everybody all the time. You mean, you mean fist fighting? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you mean to tell me she would whip people? Oh, all the time. <laughs> really? Well, no wonder she won the darn contest. <laughs> yeah. All right. She said that you d agreed you wouldn't talk about, show me, Sugar Ray. Uh, <laughs> no, that you complain about sex all the time. I'm sorry, you're right. <laughs> What? You're going to get that later. Yeah. Give it to me, baby. <laughs> okay, Robert. That had to be uh, just, just a couple hours ago. It was about a gold chain and my gold bracelet. Uh, a gold chain what? My gold chain and gold bracelet. Uh-huh. Uh, we were in the back room discussing about it, and I just kind of like, hey, sh shut up about that. <laughs> she said we agreed not to talk about your weight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And I Since told her I we didn't have to talk about it. We could just sit here and look at yeah, it. Yeah, can't we? <laughs> I mean... And there's just more than me to love. Why should That's I be embarrassed about it? Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Since when have I been embarrassed about that? Yeah. <laughs> She's got a pretty good right hand. She does, man. <laughs> Jeff, what'd you agree not to talk about? Being late. Being late. Yeah. She said you agreed not to talk about. Card for me, please. Uh, no, your office is the bathroom. You make <laughs> phone calls in the bathroom. You do everything in the bathroom. <laughs> and... <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Gentlemen, who would you say is funnier during lovemaking, you or her? Phil, who's funnier during lovemaking? Oh, that's definitely me. It's you. You're oh, funnier yes. than Sugar Ray? Oh, of course. I'm the really? jokester. All right. She said definitely it is. No, she's funnier. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah. I'm only shushing you, you big uh. turkey. God, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, what's You're so wrong. funny? Uh. I just can't wait until it's my turn. <laughs> we don't have time to ask you this question, Robert. I'm going to move on. <laughs> Robert, who's funnier during uh, Me. You? Why? Me. Because, I mean, it's all dark and everything. The light would turn on. I'm just grinning. I'm grinning the whole time it's going on. She looks up and she starts, what are you grinning at? And yeah. Know, just Is she in the same room? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> all right. She said definitely that uh, she's funnier. You always make fun of my faces all the time. <laughs> I don't know if you going to go there. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, who's funnier? I am. You're funnier? Yeah. She predicted you would say that she's funnier. She's much funnier. Because I'm always making faces and stuff. What You're teasing faces? me. <laughs> We're gonna lose. Mondo. I would say it was me. You're funny, huh? I think so. <laughs> what makes you so funny? I, I I pretty much joke about everything at the miss the, the at the worst time, so I would think that making love would probably so be the worst. Huh? Yeah. All right, she said definitely, yeah, you are. You're funnier. <laughs> okay. All right, before we get to our 25 point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer! You're going to Jamaica! You'll stay at the Wyndham Rose Hall Golf and Beach Resort just outside of Montego Bay. Rose Hall offers championship golf, tennis, water sports, and a private white sand beach. Wyndham Rose Hall, the jewel of Jamaica. The perfect place for newlyweds. Back to you, Bob. All right, John, thank you very much. 25-point bonus question. Somebody's going to Jamaica. Gentlemen, for 25 points, what is your wife's birthstone? What is your wife's birthstone? Couple number one, Jeff and Candace with five. 25 will give you 30. Take over the lead with the correct answer. Jeff. 
Amethyst. Amethyst. She said it is Aquamarine. <laughs> Couple number four, Robert and Christine Rush. You have five. 25 and give you 30. Get it right. You'll be in first place. Miss it. You go home tied for last place. Sapphire. Sapphire. She said Sapphire. Yeah. yeah. All right. Couple number three, Phil and Yvette. You have 10. 25 gives you 35. You've already won a color television set. Phil, Amethyst. what's your answer? Amethyst. Amethyst. She said, no, it's aquamarine. Uh. Couple number two, Mondo and Kimberly. You have 15. 25 gives you 40. Get it right and you're going to Jamaica. Is it a peridot? Peridot? Peridot. She said it is a peridot. You're right. And you're on your way to Jamaica, Mondo and Kimberly. Congratulations. Thanks to our couples. Thanks to you at home. I'm Bob Eubanks. Hey, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. It's the Newlywed Game! And here are today's newlyweds. This couple walked down the aisle two months ago, Juliana and Dale McCants. Our next couple did the I Do six months ago, Kathy and Brian Cortez. 